Yo, y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this class? Wait. Hey! Wake up, bro. No, this class isn't hating on Spark and Zero. The class you want is down the hallway. But watch out, the guy that's teaching that class is a little weird. Welcome to the SZP class. Today, we're going to go over a couple of additions that I would like to see in the SZ. Additions that could add to the offline and online. Now, first, we have to go over the problems in the SZ, hence the name of the class. First problem being... Offline is okay for a Dragon Ball Z game, but there are problems that make the offline something you look past. Now let me get this out of the way, episode battle. I don't mind this mode as it's just a way to get characters and see all the what ifs that they made. However, I did pay $70 for this game twice and the first time it was 110 for the early access point being microsoft powerpoint isn't a good idea for a 70 dollars game understandable that story mode wasn't their focus when making this game but when you put a price tag of 60 to 70 dollars on that game and then it doesn't even go through the whole story i'm mainly talking about gt here it's wasted space at that point and you could just buy the characters in this there is little to no customization in this game and that's crazy. The only customizable thing in the game are the capsules and minor accessories and clothing. And by minor clothing, if you're not Goku, destroyed versions of the same clothes. You can say the AI strategy, sure, but the AI go from brain dead to literal combo masters whenever they feel like it. So irrelevant and it's not like you can change it to the hardest difficulty like in the old games there is just default and difficulty lowered more on difficulty later i know this doesn't really belong in this category but y'all do y'all remember when your health reached a certain point and depending on your character who you whoever you were using their idol stance would change like vegeta holding his arm or goku sloshing over my guys rage and blast had that in the game i mean come on it's not a need to be honest with you but it's it's definitely a one um but i think that's all there is to customization so let's just go over to Custom battle is honestly pretty fun. If you avoid any of the Diddy battles, that is. But besides that, it's pretty cool seeing everyone's custom battles and trying them out. This is pretty much Super Mario Maker for Dragon Ball. And for the first time making something like this, it's pretty customizable. Customization, take notes. Nothing bad about this mode. Well, actually, remember when I said more on difficulty later? Here's where you can actually change the AI level on how strong you want them to be. And here's the problem with that. The only time this AI is frightening to play against is that one time against Goku Black and Zamasu if you know you know and if you buff them up with capsules and put them on level 20 and even then it's not impossible matter of fact take off power's body or don't put it on at all and level 20 means I mean like I could counter you once or twice in the middle of a combo but after that I ain't gonna lie but you got it to give you a good example of how easy the AI are to fight in this game look at your rank on single play are you above C4? Then you'll be fine against level 20 AI. That's all I really have to say about custom battle and offline in general. If there are any other issues surrounding offline that I didn't go through, comment down below and let me know what I missed. But now it's time to take on the behemoth that is online. Their main focus, online. What should I go over first? I guess we can start with battle. Now in battle, you have player match, rank match, and rankings. Simple, right? Okay, let's go into a player match and find a game. What is this? Oh, I see. So this is also where players fight their friends online. Okay, okay. What if you want to play a casual match? Oh, duh, quick match. What? It puts you in a lobby and doesn't match you up with other people right away? Then why is it called quick match? Okay, how about the world tournament? We've been waiting for something like this to drop since Ultimate Tenkaichi. It's been that long. Once you get into a full match, then you finally get to play until the host loses and closes app, booting everyone from the tournament. And now you gotta wait 20 to 30 minutes to find another lobby. Random tangent, but this goes for every single game that allows AI online, not just Spark and Zero. I'm glad you gave me the option to not have to wait for a full lobby, but could you let me choose? which difficulty I want the AI to be on too so I'm not fighting chop two when someone brings up numbers the man they're, they're literally just sitting there half of the time that would be great okay now it's time I go to the ranked mainly single battle because I've never played team battle but from what I heard androids run that mode if they set that android free it will be the end of all of us no! so you picked your character are you trying to have fun and pick someone random good luck because your chances of finding someone not maining UI Goku, SJ4 Gogeta, or Super Vegito 
are pretty slim. Now let's say it's a good day. You pick your main cause you're trying to climb them ranks. You're in C5, everything good. You understand the game more as you play and you haven't seen MUI or Gogeta yet and the ones you have seen are trash. So you understand why they're playing them. Then you run it up again, ooh, what's great, and see MUI, see his rank, B4. Okay, so you're thinking, oh, he got lucky running into people who aren't good at the game. Then he starts sidestepping your attacks with precision and it hits you. This nigga knows how to play the game and he's using MUI Goku on me. Now that you see he is the meaning of getting that dub however he can, you sit up and you start struggling, but not as bad though, not as bad though. You train for this and you're starting to understand how he moves and counters every attack to the point where he's on his last bar of health. You can feel the sweat that you put into this one match is about to pay off. Sweep his leg, boom to the sky, ultimate attack, cutscene. But at the last second you realize this is MUI. His dodging is impeccable. And before you know it, he dodges right out of the game. And both of you receive nothing. No penalties, no points towards your rank, nothing. Congratulations, you just wasted your time and effort. But guess what? You brushed it off because you know what I'm saying? It's such a good day and run it up with another person. Guess who it is? It's Super Vegito. Well, he has three skill count. You know what he's doing? You lose to Atherim and Strike, but you wanna run it back. He declines and now you're pissed off. Now I know this story doesn't really have an ending, but I can tell you that it's definitely a problem in a ranked game too of all things. To be clear, I don't think these characters are the problem in ranked. I think it's their skill set that is the problem. I don't know why I didn't say this before, but MUI Goku also has instant sparking. And to be honest, if Super Vegito didn't have Atherim and Strike, he would be a normal fusion in my eyes. There needs to be a solution to these problems where Everyone can just have fun, whether it is in ranked or casually. So let's try to fix that. For episode battle, I would add GT to it. And if you were to use slideshows to rush through the story, use them when nothing is happening. Not when Ginyu spots by but Goku in the Vegeta story and you can't even fight Captain Goku or Jace. Like, like, bro, come on. Also, have everyone end up at the T.O.P. I know some characters aren't doing anything, like Frieza and Piccolo on the path up to the T.O.P. But at that point, you can just skip past that stuff because it don't really matter. You've done it before. Also, if I got to fight someone again, but on a different path, like if they started Gohan at the Saiyan Saga and not the Cell Saga, I'll have to fight Nappa again and Vegeta again, but make them stronger AI wise because canonically Gohan gets swept by both of them around that time. Have what if costumes like Gohan Black. Let people reuse that content instead of it being one and done. For every DLC pack, they should drop DLC what ifs. This gives more content to episode battles and customization if this entire idea is set in motion. Add an actual difficulty setting. And this is not just for episode battle, but for offline battle as well. In customization, add different color clothing for costumes. It sounds bland, but hey, that's what the old game did. And it would be a better starting point than what we have now. Custom battle has a really good foundation. All they need to do with it is update it with more scenes every big patch or update they drop in the future. Well that and buff the AI so level 20 feels like level 20 and not level 10. For the behemoth that is online, first we're going to start with the battle tab. On this tab, I would have it be player match, ranked match, private match, and then rankings. Under rankings, specifically player rankings, it would be nice to also see who the top person is mainly using, like their top 10 most used people. I think it would be cool to see and also show me who the top player has been banking on for every match they play. In player match, just have it be like ranked when it comes to setting it up and not this lobby thing. If you want to add a lobby, then make it something like endless battle like the Xenoverse got in their matchmaking. Speaking of Xenoverse, actually, I think this would be a perfect thing to add to ranked. When you go to ranked, before all of that connection preference and stuff pops up, there should be a with limitations and without limitations option there. Without limitations is obvious. You can do whatever you want to do on that thing. So MUIs and Gogeta's can roam free with their capsules and everything. But with limitations, everyone's health is the same, the unblockable ultimates and supers cannot be blocked, key sickness is added, and skill count speed is reduced back to the old days. Same with DP battle, except in DP battle, instead of going off of cannon, it should go off of how good they actually are. Easiest way to do that is hire like two people that are really good at the game, have them test out every character for you, and with those tests, adjust every character accordingly. Also, before you start the match, there should be a tab that pops up telling you, oh, the person you're facing leaves the game a lot, or this person connection says three bars, are you sure you wanna fight this person? And I know everyone has talked about rage quitters and how we should just ban them, but I have a better solution. And I'm only saying that because everyone immediately goes, well, if they leave, just ban them. And then people with such Wi-Fi says, what about us? 
and then you guys go, not my problem, just don't play online. So this is for everyone. If someone quits, replace that person with a bot. Winning against that bot will give you the right amount of points you were supposed to get if that person just never quit. But it does put you out the game afterwards. For the person quitting, I feel like we should just give them a three strikes and you're out system. On the third strike, they are banned for two weeks. And don't worry, my sus Wi-Fi people, these three strikes we set every month. So if you lag out two times in the same day, call that Wi-Fi person up and say, yo, what's going on? But I myself got such Wi-Fi and I barely lag out, so you should be fine. But what about the UI Gokus and the SJ4 Gogetas? Look, I'm not the type of person to make someone stop playing a character in a game that they paid for. But if I were to come up with an idea, let's say you play MUI Goku five times a day. He is then locked and can't be played anymore until you use three other people five times. Now I know what you're going to say, but MUI and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta aren't the main problem. And to that, I'm going to say this. I didn't say I was going to fix it. Look at the title. I said I was going to try to fix it. But hey, what can I say? That's all the ideas I have to fix the game at this moment. If you have any ideas or problems that I've missed in this vid, I mean class session, be sure to comment down below and let me know what I've missed. Till then, I'm Professor Mick, period, Mitsu, and I'll see you guys later.